With website builders, since you're using their closed ecosystem, those files won't work anywhere else. So for example, if you designed your website with Squarespace, paying $30 a month, and after three years, you found your big break. The website becomes super successful. For you, this is the worst possible case scenario because one, since you don't have access to the server, only the website builder tool, you can't really scale it up or down in terms of resources. The increased visitor count is keeping your site offline because the server isn't powerful enough. And if you want to upgrade, Squarespace can ask you to pay like $1,000 a month for a more powerful one. You think, wow, I was paying $30, now you want $1,000? That's just absurd. I'll pack up my files and go host them somewhere else. Um, yeah, about that too. Since you created your website using their tool, your website won't work anywhere else. It will only work on Squarespace. You quite literally can't leave. So you're forced to either pay the new price or let your site die. Since you don't own your website, Squarespace owns your website. 